Bye, they'll be able to pick up Kimmy Russ Avengers on your on your windscreen if they photoed that oh, way. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say you can see it, see it from Mount Isa? Fucking oh. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect now, we've done it a few times. The first time I was a bit, a bit anxious about it. What? You lost the words, I can't believe it. I'm sure you fill everyone in on everything. <laughs> Funny as it may seem. Some people say they can never find a pub. What about us, bud? Oh, we're always finding them. Yeah. They're bloody everywhere we go. It's like they follow us around. <laughs> Thought it might have been the million dollar bug game. I've had enough of that bloke. Yeah. Yeah, I've had We're better than that. Yeah, we're better God. than that. If this is customs I'm talking to, I do not pack my own gear. Well, you still get in trouble for it because you're in possession. No, you're on the pink because it's your favourite colour. Yeah, that's why she tried telling the bloke down at the bottle shop. Gets up the top, there's only two car parking spots for disabled. Oh, Rusty, Phil, I'm disabled. I fucking got her with me. Yeah, you did, yeah. 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 did, he yeah. that. That's the same age as my youngest daughter. Oh, oh you could be my son. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got these little puppies for nothing. Them little puppies for nothing tonight, aren't they, mate? Since when have you used lipstick? What are you doing going through my stuff? Wait a minute. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Oh, yeah, well, as if you didn't know about Look, that. It's well, like I'm seeing this for the first time. How do we turn right, it off? Time for this video to go off. I think I've both broke him. She's broken. How do you turn him on? God, you be going down the street. Very oh, it's got a... Look, it's... It's got a few speeds. Who's it by? It's quick. Isn't that pretty specky, guys? Look at that. Nice in the boat. Yeah. Beautiful beaches, aren't they? So we're coming up to the famous arch, aren't we, babe? The Great Ocean Road. The Lover's Arch. It's a Lover's <laughs> Arch, isn't it, sweetie? It's all over again. <laughs> this is the Lover's Arch, babe. It is. Sure it is. No, it's a fair dinkum, babe. Fair dinkum. I'm not lying to you, babe. No, <laughs> we're on holidays and we're, you're filming, so you're lying. This, this is a bit rough on old Rusty, babe. Rust, Rusty's going to make some content. <laughs> 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 Don't say that. The guys won't believe us in anything we say or do. Could be bullshit. But... Nah, wouldn't be bullshit, babe. Wouldn't be bullshit. Not if Rusty's saying it. Okay, so where are we, babe? Ah, uh, the Great Ocean Road. Great Ocean Road, and where are we? We're at the Lover's Arch, Lover's aren't we? Lover's Arch, yes. Hey? yes. Where's the Lover's Arch? Just down there. Just down there. That's the Lover's Arch, isn't it, babe? The Great Ocean Road, Lover's Arch. Yes, let's yes. go. Yes, let's go. We're going across here. You know, all the times we've been over on the Great Ocean Road, we've never ever stopped here, have we, babe? Never. Never ever stopped. We've all, all we've done is gone under it, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. The beach is down there, if you want to go no, down no. there, Pat? Well, let's go down there. Okay, we'll go down there and have a little look see. Give this okay. Take their photos. Yeah. Come on, babe, you've got to come back up. It's all sand, you know. We're going for a swim, aren't we, babe? It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. It is a nice day, isn't it? Don't you think? <laughs> What are you doing? I'm taking pictures of you. Oh. And you're taking pictures of There's a lighthouse right over in the distance there where we just were a second ago. The 
look, I'm doing my duties and cleaning up the beach. There she is, she's doing something sensible for a change. On your vibe. So, this is it here, guys. Okay, ocean water. So, this is why the arch was put up. In respect of all those people that come back from the war and actually made the um, Great Ocean Road. Bit of information there on it. All by pick and shovel back then when they did it. Unreal, isn't it? Look at that. Construction on the road began on September 19th, 1919, built by approximately 3,000 return servicemen as a war memorial for fellow servicemen who'd been killed in World War I. An advanced survey team progressed through the dense wilderness at approximately three kilometres a month. Construction was done by hand using explosives, pick and a shovel, wheelbarrows and some small machinery, and was it sometimes perilous, with several workers killed on the job. The final sections along the steep coastal mountains were the most difficult to work on. Anecdotal evidence from the ABC archives in 1982 suggested workers would rest detonators on their knees during travel as it was the softest ride for them. Go, go, go. As we go under the sign. Damn it, should have had a Kimmy Russ Adventures on the back. Oh, babe, we should have put our stickers up over the poles. Yeah. But you never just... brought with us. Yeah. Just as those people snapshot at the thing, we went past. Yeah. Uh, should have had Kimmy Russ on the back. <laughs> Don't worry, babe, they'll be able to pick up Kimmy Russ Adventures on your on your windscreen if they photoed that oh, way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like wood. Yeah, it stands out like dog's nuts, don't it, babe? Oh, gosh. Where'd you say? You can see it, see it from Mount Isa. Fucking eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what she gets when she don't do things herself. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. I love the Great Ocean Road. I know it's a touristy place, guys. Very touristy. But when you're not doing it all the time like us, we're only from Tassie, it's a different road for us to ride, isn't it, babe? Yeah. and enjoy ourselves on. Now we start the best bit of the Great Ocean Road as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. All the lovely riding in and around all this stuff. Looks like we got a stop and go bloke or something in here babe. Yep we have. Yep. First bit of road works on the Great Ocean Road. Well, we're not that far out of lawn, just a few k's out of lawn. Timmy would be getting scared about now if this barrier wasn't here. <laughs> Wouldn't you, babe? Hey, uh, what's them things in the middle of the road, babe? Traffic queued up. Yeah, again. But you've got to expect that. If you want good roads, they've got to do things, don't they? So, look at that. We didn't have to wait long. Sweetie, look at that, sweetie. Oh, marvellous. Yes. Those good angels are helping us out today, aren't they? Oh, look, Kimmy Russ Kimmy Russ have been getting priority lately. I know. They're putting all this wire netting up. See the wire ropes there, guys? Oh, no, they're not wire ropes. They're bloody... That look like hoses. They do. That's it. But they've been drilling into the side there for all the wire netting to go up. Look at the big used staples they put in the ground there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that it attaches to. You stop all the rocks coming down on you. As they've done just there. And they were doing this four years ago when we were last through here. Yeah. Imagine all those rocks would be on the bloody road. Yeah, we had a lot of um, stop and go that year, didn't we? Because yeah. they were doing all this bit, the real high bit. They had the abseilers coming down over the side there. Yeah. What a good view they'd get from up there, babe. Look well, out there. Yeah. They'd just want to hang around up there all day looking, wouldn't they? Just hanging around. Yeah. We are rocking up the lawn, aren't we, babe? Oh, what it is. Very pretty area. Yeah. You can see why people come down here bloody um, holidaying all the time. 
Oh, well, we don't have to indicate here, but old oh, Rusty's you know. indicating anyway. Oh, and I was too, so I look like an idiot too now. <laughs> Nothing ever surprises me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember that fat lady in the skinny lady. Uh, just over there on the right. Oh, that's a bit nasty, babe. But it is. So this is the beautiful little lawn. We have stopped here before, haven't we, and had brekkie and that here. Always a busy place, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of eateries and stuff. Yeah, a hell of a lot. A lot of accommodation. She's a, she's a built up little place, isn't it, old lawn? As in accommodation and everything. Tourists. Yeah. Well, mate, well, mate, you stop your back on my side, he's right there, mate. You have a camera in there for sure. Lawn is located in the centre region of the Great Ocean Road. Lawn is a tourist favourite when visiting. The town is one of those little places that would definitely be on your itinerary. Lawn is one of the first towns on the Great Ocean Road and is a popular destination for surfing. And when the population balloons in the summer season, it becomes a weekend getaway for the city dwellers in Melbourne. Popular activities include pier fishing, swimming, surfing and camping. And of course, there is many more activities. Look at that beautiful big old house just there on the right. Where? Yeah. Wouldn't you love to live there? That'd be beautiful. Oh, they're beautiful, wouldn't it, Bob? I'd go to Bob. Grand Pacific. Oh, they're doing renovations and that in there, babe. Yeah. Close your eyes. Get some rest. I'm by your side. Lay your head on my chest. Why is it a river, babe? Because it's too it's big not... to be a creek. Yeah. <laughs> We've got one in Tassie like that, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, and it says that. Why is it a river? Because it's too big to be a creek. That's towards the East Coast way. It is down the East Coast, yeah. On the Tasman Highway. Not a bad day for surfers today. Not too bad of waves, they're big enough to surf on. And they're fairly clean waves. There's the old surfer from the 70s. Oh, there you go, baby. The views are truly spectacular, aren't they? On the edge of cliffs all the way around, aren't you? I think Kimmy's back there concentrating. No, I'm fine. I don't know 
what to expect now. We've done it a few times. The first time I was a bit, a bit anxious about it. Uh, not bad now. It's cooler now. The sun's gone. Right by the beach, yeah. The cloud over a bit. Yeah. So, welcome to Apollo Bay, guys. Apollo Bay is located at 187 kilometres southwest of Melbourne. It is an iconic major destination on the Great Ocean Road. Since the early 1800s, it has evolved from a whaling station to a very typical seaside holiday resort with a rich variety of activities on the beach and in the water. The hinterland is noted for the foothills of the Otway Ranges with the wildlife and excellent bushwalking. The locals insist that it enjoys a microclimate which makes it milder and warmer than any other towns on the Great Ocean Road. This is where we're staying for the night, aren't we? Paradise by the sea, they reckon, sweetie. Oh, I'd have to agree, but we, I, I really would have to agree with that too. It is a very nice place. Can't wait to get out the pub. <laughs> we know exactly what pub we're going to. Oh, yeah, any one of them has got grog. <laughs> yeah. That's the Great Ocean Road Brew House, the one that we were at last time. Oh, yes, we were, yes. Because they kept sending things, messages and, and look, things. we might have had a sight, or we might not have, might we, babe? More than one, I reckon. Oh, babe, I wasn't going to say that. Tell the truth. Oh, I, was just, I was just going to leave it open for people to guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> Make what, it a mystery they, then. Do they reckon Kimmy Russ would have had a cider? Or do they reckon not? You know? Someone's oh, cooking a barbie or something somewhere. Yeah, it smells so nice. What is the time? Where are we, young Kimmy? We're at Apollo Bay. And Apollo Bay, this is yes. Apollo Bay here. The beach front. Right there, beach front. Where are we? I'll show them both. This is our complex here. The beachfront motel in a boat. This little motel is a great motel. We've stayed here a couple of times before. It is directly over the road from the beach and the town centre is only 100 metres away. What more could you want? And the rooms are very well appointed. Yeah, I think it's the closest one to town. That... Well, it is close to town because there's town right there, isn't it, yeah. sweetie? Hey? Yeah. So, we're going to go for a little walk along here. They did have another one we used to stay at, but they pulled it down, didn't they? No, not here. Wasn't it? No, no, not here. But, I mean... What? You lost for words, I can't believe it. I'm sure you fill everyone in on everything. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just thinking I've got to find a stubby. Oh yeah, yeah I know we've got to find stubby, yeah. mate. Yes. There's one up here at this. Um... Okay, and we've we've got to find food too, don't we, babe? Yes. Hey? Do you reckon? Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's this? Motorcycle rentals. Babe, what? You'd be able to get off your Harley and onto a scooter. I could get one of them, a Royal. Oh. Where do they do that? In here. Oh, I don't know, babe. That is cool. Yeah. There you go. Kim can go. For a bit of a spin, can't you, Kim? I could actually go on an adventure. Yeah. Now, there is good news in there, babe. Yeah. <laughs> this this is the food works here, look. Right here. I don't know if you can it's see that. It's disguised. It's disguised. It's it's over there. As a food place. And they sell grog, don't they, yeah. mate? They sell grog. Yep. And where do we live? Just Straight around the bloody corner. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, right. we're, we're gonna venture off now and go down this beautiful town and we're gonna go. Maybe have a stubby somewhere. Yes. Yes. Come back. Find food. We'll get our grog, yeah, work out what we're going to have for tea. Yep. Come back. We'll have a few stubbies, won't we, babe? Yeah. How many? Oh, a few, three. And we'll get a six pack each tonight, won't we? Yep. <laughs> we'll probably be back around there at seven o'clock buying more before they shut. Yeah. But never mind. What time do they shut? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, babe. Seven o'clock. We'll soon know by that time whether we need more. That's right. You reckon? Yeah, I'll just send you up What's the time now? 3.10 in the afternoon now. I reckon one, two, two at the pub. What do you reckon? Two. Yeah, two at the pub? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Depends what time we're going to bed. Right, so this is Apollo Bay for anyone that hasn't seen oh, no. it before. They weren't there last time. We're going to work out 
we have bought tea, haven't we, mate? Yep, eh? I think it'll be the place we normally go to. Yes, we'll probably get a pizza in that, won't we? If it's still What do you reckon? We haven't had a pizza for a while, have we? Yeah. They've got a chair there for you. For oh, you and your ass, sweetie. <laughs> They've got a chair for your ass. That is huge. Yeah. We are right on the waterfront here. What's the matter? They changed our pizza place to a bakery. No, it's just here. Pizza oh, place okay. just here. All right. I say, I'm not doing bakery. Kim's starting to worry about food. There's beautiful little parklands here in the bay, eh? Yeah. And then you turn around to this, and what have you got? Uh, You've got a nice T-shirt on there, sweetie. Who made that for you? Well, let's hope it doesn't fall apart. Oh, Look at it. No faith in her. No faith in me. Cop shop up around the corner. We will be going out that way towards Port Campbell and Warrnambool Way when so we So Rusty leave. reckons he's going in here. Great Ocean Road Brew House and Bottle Shop. Read that, people. You are standing outside the southernmost pub of the Australian mainland continent and it is the Great Ocean Brew House. Isn't it, babe? Right there, see? You give yeah. it a go? Yep. Or we'll go down the other one. Oh, have we been in here? Yeah, once. Did they have cider? Oh, no. We'll have one in here and one down there. Okay. Found a pub, didn't we, both? Did yes, we find a pub? We did. We found one, didn't we? And turns out, hello, we've been here before. Who would ever have thought that? It is the brew house on the Great Ocean Road in the boat at yes. Apollo Bay. And naturally, we've got a couple of ciders, haven't we, sweetie? Yeah. We've started, haven't we? We've started. We have. We're outside in a tent at the moment. That's, that's our view from outside. Ah, oh, from inside looking out. Turns out, it's a bloody distillery. Yeah, look at that. Fancy Kimmy Russ Adventures come to a place where they distill grog. What do you reckon, bud? See? Yeah. Look at that. All these vats. It's bloody marvellous, isn't it? Well, I don't know if they're actually brewing it here or not, babe. I don't know. Well... It's vats, eh? Yeah, I don't know. They do, they do brew their own, though, don't they? They do. They've got yes. a brewery out the back there, tasting just out the back. Right, okay. Taste the place in here too, so you know that's cider for Rusty, cider for Kimmy. Oh, yeah, Two got, different ones, isn't it? We got taste too before we bought them. Yep, yep, we did. So we're gonna leave you to it at the moment, aren't we, sweetie? We're just gonna sit back and relax. And that's what I'm Googling. 15 best places for cider in Melbourne. Well, we got out of Melbourne real quick this morning, babe, mm -hmm. didn't we? And we don't plan on going back into Melbourne itself until we go and see Darren of Donna Madness Adventures, Amanda. Yep. And then catch the boat home. That's the plan, isn't it, boat? That is the plan. Yeah, so we'll catch you on down the road, guys. Funny as it may seem, some people say they can never find a pub. What about us, babe? Oh, we've always find them. Yeah. They're bloody everywhere we go. That's like they follow us around. <laughs> We're at another one now. Yeah, watch me try and get on this chair. Yeah. That'd be funny. Look, poor short little legs like you. Yeah. It comes up to here. Come on then, get up on there. Now, how am I going to get in there? Oh, geez, I'm not helping. Okay, I'll try. Just give her give one drink and she's stuffed. This try is the again. pub we're at now, though. Which one's this pub, babe? Um, Who just fucking knows? Pub. It's about, Who knows? It's about 100 metres away from the other pub. Yeah, we got tight walking, didn't we, sweetie? Yeah. We've been riding all day. You can't go and stretch your legs too much on the first day, can no, you? And I'm not allowed to stand up on my bike. No. That is the main street down here of Apollo Bay. We're just watching the world go by, aren't we, sweetie? Yeah. It's Kimmy's just... got a little corona this time, mm -hmm. haven't you? Yep, I like corona. Oh, Russ, he's got a... James... What, James Squire cider? Squire cider. Yeah. cider. Yeah, cider, cider. So... Um, Rusty's taking advantage of happy hour. Six bucks for that, nine bucks for this. Happy so that means I can have two to her one nearly done. <laughs> <laughs> one for after her one. Enjoying happy hour. Oh, Rusty's good, isn't he, eh? <laughs> Do you know what? I don't think they should call it 
unlimited happy because it's more than an hour. They do happy hour for more than an hour. So no, it's like... normally just an hour. No, I don't think it is. Uh, not... By the time that hour finishes, you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> shove because everyone, as you can. Yeah, everyone shoving in as much as they can, aren't they? Hey guys, we'll catch you down the road. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. G'day, 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 guys. How you going? Hello. <laughs> yeah, we're on all of those. Yeah, we're here to piss you off. That's what we're made for, mm -hmm. to piss you off. That's right. Because we're on all of those. I'll just put me stubby down. Oh. Oopsie, he's good. Uh oh. He's had one too many. Yeah, might have had too many down the pub, maybe, eh? Mm. What do you reckon? Oh, well. Oh shit, I'm gonna flick that off the concrete later. <laughs> Get down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go oh. down there, babe. Get down there and lick it. Oh. <laughs> that was the wrong analogy, sorry. Sorry, guys. Is she asking me who or what? <laughs> Did not make Was she telling me? <laughs> well, well, never mind. We are at Apollo Bay tonight. We got well, it's off the boat. I went a bit red then, did I? You blushed, did you? Yeah, yeah. I must have. <laughs> Yeah, she never realises what she's no. doing or what she's saying. I know. But we are at Apollo Bay tonight. We hopped off the boat this morning in Melbourne, didn't we? From Tasmania. If you've been following, you know. We're coming to the mainland for four weeks, aren't we? Or four and a half weeks or whatever. So Apollo Bay is our first stop for the night. And we have had a great day, haven't we? Yeah. Stopped in New Geelong Harley Davidson. Look, oh, I know, guys. I oh, know. Some of you don't like Harleys. Well, we don't care. See, now I got this. Do we? Yep. Yeah, she did. There you go, she got a new stubby older. But we don't care because as far as we're concerned, a bike's a bike. That's right. We don't care if it's a Suzuki, Yamaha. Well, we care if it's a Triumph, don't we? Yeah, we don't. Or a BMW. Yep, don't like them. Nah, BMW. No, nah, we care if it's a BMW, oh, yeah, don't we? Yeah, yeah. We know people yeah, on BMWs. Yeah. Yeah. But as for the rest, we don't give stuff, yeah. do we? No. No, no. So we're at Apollo Bay for the night. I've said it again and I'll say it again. There's the bikes. They're all set up here, aren't they, mate? And Geelong Harley, yes, well, that yielded the first, well, what would you say, credit card of the year. Well, I had to get it out of me yeah. fucking wallet because Kim wanted to buy stuff. Yeah, that's right. She got very excited. She seen a BMW in the drive and she thought it might have been the million dollar bargain. I think it was still. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. We don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't worrying me anyway. I've had enough of that bloke. Yeah. yeah I've had we're enough. better than that. Yeah, we're better God. than that. Yeah. So, I'll just show you the little complex here. They, they could fall tonight. They're on a bit of an angle, aren't they, babe? Yeah. Oh, and... Rusty had to put Kimmy's in there. I know, and it's not my fault if that falls over because it's, you yeah, can't. Over there, straight over. Over there, over them trees there. That's the beach. We'll be over there later, won't we, babe? Eh? Have you on this? You skinny dip. Oh. Time for a swim. Yeah, well, why are we going skinny dipping over there, lad? I'll it's... show you around the hotel room anyway. 13 degrees. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go for a swim. It doesn't matter. Well, I tell you what, if I get it out at 13 degrees, everything's going to be real fucking skinny. See <laughs> 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 that there? Right, right, there's the boudoir, the love nest. That's our bags. Now, Kim has copied me this year, and she has got the same bag. But, oh, Rusty's got, he's got his logo on the top there, our logo on the top, haven't I? She reckons she can fit more in those bags to take home. They will extend. Yeah, well, that's the love nest. Uh, the worst thing about that love nest is it's a queen bed, so I won't be able to get away from Kimmy tonight. That could be a problem, couldn't it, babe? Yeah, yeah, you've got a problem. Where's your bag, babe? What's in your bag, sweetie? I really don't know. I didn't pack it. Hey, what's in there? I never packed my own stuff. Oh, it's in there, babe. Anything in there? Probably. What's in there? I don't know. I didn't pack everything. Oh, bullshit. She always says that, you know, guys. She always says she never packs her own stuff. But she lies. If this is customs I'm talking to, I do not pack my own gear. Well, you still get in trouble for it because you're in possession. Oh. That's a shout. And that is the almighty shit, guys. <laughs> rusty. You are rusty. You're rocking it tonight, babe, in that T-shirt. You are. Oh. You look Give sexy. Give her us Look sexy, babe. Yeah, yeah. Just remember, guys, we have got stubby holders. Whatever I We have I got had. stubby holders on board to give away, haven't we? We have. If anyone comes give up away. to us. Whatever I had in my bag is not there now, yeah. so I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. What are you playing with your pockets for? I don't know. We'll come to the bottom of it. Don't worry, guys. Uh, the electrical nightmare happening there. Cut the strong bars, not cut the six pack strong bars. She's on the pink one, I'm on the red one. Is that not right, mate? 
No, you're on the pink because it's your favourite colour. Yeah, that's what she tried telling the bloke down at the bottle shop. You believe that. He she tried telling that to the bloke at the bottle shop and I said, he don't even fucking believe you. Look at him. Then he laughed and he admitted it, didn't he, babe? Yeah. Yes. Just the look on his face. Just the look on the face said it all, wasn't it, eh? <laughs> but anyway. Must go. We've got to go and get some tea, don't we, babe? We've got some serious drinking to do. Yeah. I'll tell you, though, I'll tell you. The Great Ocean Road today, it was a beautiful day. Got to about 16 degrees, wasn't it? No wind or whatever, but um, you will see footage. You will see. If you're following us on Facebook, you've probably already seen some photos. But it was nice, wasn't it? Beautiful. Very nice. I mean, we have done it before, I know. And the best thing about that was... There was not a real lot of traffic on the road, was there? No, it was no. pretty good. We had a pretty good run through, albeit the speed limits and everything, but that's fine. But, you know, you go on these places and you realise that, don't you? So you've got to do what the locals do. 110 in 60 zones, Kim was going there for a while. Yeah, but... I know, I just um, ripped it up. Ripped it up. In her head, she rips everything <laughs> up. So that way. In her head, if she sees a gravel road, she can do it. Of course. Until that front wheel hits that gravel road, Everything's good. So the front wheel hits the gravel road. Says, Can you come and turn it around for me? <laughs> Don't no. <you?"> <laughs> no, 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 no. But, no. Oh, that's yeah, true. Of course. You know, you know what he did. He went to extremes today. Yeah. We could have seriously been in trouble. Oh, I took her up the round the twist yes. lighthouse. And there was a gravel car park, but he thought it was better dealing with the authorities than dealing with me in that gravel car park. Oh, all right, all the way all up. All the way up. It said, mm -hmm. it said access only to. What? No, private residence. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Local. But, but he said it was a shared zone. A shared zone is... 10 k's, yeah. ...is a motor vehicle, motorbike... And pedestrian. ...and pedestrian. So, oh, Rusty, he goes up there, gets up the top, and there's only two car parking spots for disabled. Oh, Rusty, thought well, I'm disabled. I fucking got hurt with yeah, me. Yeah, he did. He yeah. actually did. He yeah. said that. Yeah, that's and what we said. And you will hear him saying that yes. on the camera. Yeah, Never stop yep. there, though. Someone was panicking, Bill. Yeah, you did it. I'm going to jail. Well, I fucking Bogan did this to us once. Bogan did. did. Him and Harry took us up Cradle Mountain. Yeah, It yeah. was uncalled for. We just followed. Yeah, it was. Like fucking sheep. She's a follower. She's a sheep. OK, got to go. This is getting a bit long, babe. It is. OK? Yeah. You say goodnight and say goodbye. Good night. Good She'll be too pissed. She'll be in bed soon, thank fucking God. Love Remember, everybody. Guys, seven seven o'clock. When we're on the road, seven o'clock. Bed with the bottle. You gotta say, love yous. Love yous. Bye, Bye. guys. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And your name is? The Ravi. Ravi. Ravi Sharma. Ravi Sharma. Yes. Yeah. Sounds like a cricketer. Sorry? Sounds like a cricketer. Yeah, this was a cricketer called Ravi Shastri. Yeah, Shastri, yeah. yes. Oh, Ravi well. Sharma. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes. Yes. So, he is a recipient of a stubby holder from Kimmy Russ Adventures, isn't yes, it? First. Because it's his birthday on Monday, isn't it? Yeah, Monday? Of October, yeah. yeah. I'm turning 36. <laughs> oh, geez, you're over the hill. Yeah. <laughs> 36? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 36. That's the same age as my youngest daughter. Oh, oh you could be my son. <laughs> <laughs> we could be your parents. Oh, look at the look on the poor bloke's oh. face now. <laughs> yeah. So you have your daughter-in-law coming just in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> What's her daughter-in-law's name? Vinika. Oh, Vinika. Vinika. Yeah, that's right. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So my name Ravi. Ravi means son. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Yeah. Son. yeah. son. Son, yeah, the son. We said son. <laughs> the son, the yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Open up the window. I'm breathing in the last of September. I can feel the wind blow. And the late summer sky is like a